sweet smell is equal to chemical energy. Is equal to chemical energy. So what we are doing in the sanctum sanctum of Sri Govil is nothing but energization of the vigraha. How people used to ask, when you are giving this much naivayasam, alpayasam to God, will he eat all these things? I am sure that if God eats all your naivayasam, next day onwards he will not do any naivayasam. Scaring that he will take everything. You are now sure that he will not eat anything, so you are doing the Nivedyam. And then, now when we do the Nivedyam, how we do it, you know, so marvelous in tantric way. And first we put one Tulasi, dipping in the ghee, putting on this ISM, and then take little bit of this Shankha water, do Upastaranam, then last you come to the point, Pranaya Swaha First you cut this piece up without touching that Right side, left side three times without touching Then doing a really global spherical movement of the hand Pranaya Swaha, two fingers Abhanaya Swaha, upper two fingers Yanaya Swaha, middle two fingers Udhanaya Swaha, bottom three fingers And Samanaya Swaha, upper three fingers Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Hindu Durgayama, Om Viparavokrema, Om Viparavokrema, Om Viparavokrema, whatever may be the Vigra, accordingly all fingers together. This is Tantra. So systematically they have done. So you are doing the Vivetyam is nothing but the flavor of this Vivetyam is transferred to Vigraha. Flavor of Vivetyam is transferred to the Vigraha. That is chemical energy. Indians were not fools. They like to say that. When the Vaidika Samskara of Havana, Yaga, Yajna, Vaidika method of worship, to Tantrika method of worship, Pauranika method, two way of worship is there. One Vaidika, second one Tantrika. Vaidika, Vaidika method is throughout Havana. Tantrika is throughout this puja. So in Tantrika method, we do this Vivedya such a systematic way that the Vigraha getting enriched with all type of energy. Next to what? You are standing nearby the Vigraha. Pretty well you should remember that. Going just like that and standing in front of Vigraha, it is it does not have any positive physiological effect. At the same time, if you are standing there with Pancha Shuddhi, I will tell you one sentence what is Pancha Shuddhi. Sharira Shuddhi, clean body. Then Ahara Shuddhi, pure vegetarian. Manas Shuddhi, Asuya Pushupa, Purushta, Paravapa, Kaluvarela, Aharana. If you are going to the temple with this one, no effect at all. So, Sharira Shuddhi, Ahara Shuddhi, Manas Shuddhi, Vak Shuddhi, Vak, Word Shuddhi, Fifth one, Karma Shuddhi. If you have to get the real effect of going to temple, you analyze your body, is it clean? Otherwise, stand in the road, Dvayarapa, Krishna, Rekshi, Kene, Bakibar, Nyan, Uthi, Kona, Me, Mithan, Kona. Don't enter there. But clean body, go inside, do your best. People used to ask the question, I mean, the, the men they have, they have to remove the shirt, what about ladies? Did not. Up to the possible level, you do it. As far as ladies are concerned, if theft is not taking place around places, put one more golden ornament, ornament, additional, one more. One as such tali will be there, put one more gold. That is enough to energize your body. Standing in front of the sanctum sanctorum, have two gold in your neck. The thing is that that gold should touch your skin. It should not touch the ultra modern blouse system, you know. So it should not be non-conductor. It should touch the skin and stand in really, really enough energy. So you are standing in front of Sanctum Sanctorum. The highly energized Vigraha has got an aura nearly 36 feet radius. Highly energized Vigraha will be having an aura 
nearly 36 feet radius, not diameter, radius. You, when you are worshipping, you are within that aura of the Vigraha. And when you are standing within this aura, if suppose you have got so much Asuya, Asuya is equal and the English word jealousy and other things wrong. Asuya is Malayali's habit, so the Malayali word is wrong. So, so when you have got Asuya and jealousy so much, no? Your total aura is deep red. Your aura is deep red. So energy from the Vigraha will not penetrate in your body. And so it is told mental purity is a poem. Suya, Pushpa, Pushpa, Parana, Prakhalwara. When you do all these things, I used to tell always, any Malayali temple, don't do your temple meeting inside the temple. Always do the meeting outside. Because you will quarrel definitely. You will quarrel, you will challenge, you will do so many things. Do everything outside the campus. So that, I am not believing Malayalis, I am also Malayali. So, outside, you are quarreling, no negative will be poured into the temple atmosphere. All the negative will be outside. So, when you are negative, entering into the temple, what is happening in fact, surrounding you, the energy suddenly dips down, goes down. So, with all negative, if you are entering, your energization effect is minimum. But temple is getting negatively charged because of you. <laughs> so I always used to say, when you go to Amadananda Mahi, if you are a Mahababi, don't touch Amma, Amma's leg or anything, because your Mahababa will be diffusing that. <laughs> and then you keep away, you purify the only charge her with the negative energy. Otherwise, she will be doing so much tapas, 24 hours, 26 hours, she sits and consoles many people. And you, Mahababi, comes and touches her, all the energy goes to you. And you will neither get up, nor her energy will be survived. So, Mahababi should not touch any sannyasis. They should stand six feet away. I always use the six feet, because even though he falls, should not fall on me. He said, you may be by and a half now. So, he will not fall on me. We say, when you are standing there, just like when you say, if you have a hot vessel, putting in a cold wind, suddenly the temperature of the vessel will fall down. Like that, you are highly negative, going into the positive energy, the positive energy will dip down. It's automatic thermodynamics rule. <coughs> Simple, as you know, no, Newton's rule. Newton's law, the difference of the temperature, fourth power of the difference of temperature will be the rate by which this energy will be reduced. That is Newton's rule. Fourth power, difference D, D raised to fourth. The energy reduction is directly proportional to the inversely proportional to the fourth power of the difference. So, you are lowest in energy. Mahabhavi, everybody is reasonably high level of energy. You are entering the and you are fourth power, difference fourth power will be the reduction of energy taking place in the temple. So that, that is why ancient days people used to do Punyana. Now the Hidravas is come inside, they will do Punyana only because that the negative energy to be removed. So five people come there, they have put the Pavamana Sutta. Pavamana Sutta is the best Sutta, you know. Om Swadishtaya Madishtaya Vastaso Matharaya Indra Aya Vadave This is Pavamana Sutta. Pavamana, word means Pavana. Jaya is getting elevated, excited, energized. Pavamana Sutta. That is why Punyana we perform Panjashuddhi and so on. So what I wanted to convey to you, your mental purity, physical bodily purity, aharavas purity. Aharavas purity means take vegetarian food. Edo anna, tado manaha. Whatever food you have taken, your mind will be accordingly like that. A lion is a lion because it eats meat. A tiger is a tiger because it eats meat. A cow is a cow because it does not eat meat. So, when we eat meat, we will be semi lions he cannot excite in our home, so the excitation should be outside. This word is not used by me, but used by Professor Winberg, University of California. He's a very senior professor. He conducted an experiment with the lions, tigers, panthers, and so many <coughs> meat-eating animals. He gave them 45 days idli and uh, dosa and other uh, lion and all karate, which are every people. I mean, so happened. All these carnivorous, meat-eating animals, they came down so silent. You don't, you don't need electrodes for controlling them. 
only the chain for holding them. Then she said, "Hito anna tato manaha." A lion can be tamed by changing its food. Tiger can be tamed by changing its food. A human being can be purified by changing its food from meat to ordinary vegetarian food. So when you are going to the temple, keep pancha shuddhi. And suppose you don't know what is meant by mental purity, manas shuddhi. Stand in front of a mirror, big mirror. Ask to that mirror. You have got all the six PhD subjects. What is that? So you have to show your position. That is the most natural. You ask directly to the mirror. Then the mirror will give you answer. Yeah, oh, yesterday, I had a lot of problems. I had a lot of problems. You have got problems. You see, but you know, Kerala is always used to have one Kerala. This fellow is one fellow is reasonably very good fellow. He is standing at this level. My level is this much only. So my level is this much. The other fellow is this much. So what I wanted to say, I am sure that I cannot get elevated up to this level. So my easiest method is put him down. I have to say that we two are both, we both of us are equally useless. Not equally useful. We two are equally useless. So I get all my consolation. I am very happy. I am equally useless to that fellow. Even though that is not the case, that is he is equally useless to me. That is enough for me. So that mental approach, a positive vision is possible. I assure you that nearly 150 psychosomatic diseases which we are facing in South India that can be avoided. Psychosomatic diseases, majority of our headache, chest pain, BP, or low BP or higher BP, cholesterol, heart problem, even sugar to a great extent cancer, all caused by mental problem, Sarira Manaso Yoga, Paraspara Manukraje, mind and body are complementary to each other. Adhada, Adheya Bhavena, Taptajya Khadayo Riva, Taptajya Khadayo Riva, comparison given by Charaka Maharshi is the greatest result, you know, whatever mental approach you have got, positive or negative, it directly affects your body. Whatever physical problem you have got, it directly affects your mind. So by treating your mind, body can be cured. This is the principle adopted in quantum healing system developed by Dr. Deepak Chopra and his colleagues. Quantum healing, treat your mind, body will automatically become happy and comfortable and healthy. So when you are coming to the temple, the principle is very simple. Sharira Shuddhi. Perfect body hygiene and illness, cleanliness, mental hygiene, all positive thoughts and thinking, sir. And ahara should be pure vegetarian food, plus milk, plus ghee, plus butter, everything. Because you are not killing an animal or getting this product. You are taking a byproduct of an animal. Good, no problem. So, what should be whenever you are talking? See that every word uttered by you has got positive or negative effect on others. Even when we come to Tamil Nadu, we can see that. Always, Tamil Nadu used to say, Amma or Appa. In the last word, Gavama, that itself is so nice, you know. Airlines will never use the word Amma, Appa or anything. You will use either LDM or UDM. But not this one. So, and in Telugu, you see, Randi, Randi, you come here, the respect of Nandi. But, when we have got that respect, it conveys the message when atithis come to our home, what we do? Manasamadhyatam. We have to say Manasamadhyatam. Let your mind be calm and peaceful. What Atiti says? Samadhyatam Manasasmaha. We are calm and pleasant now. Prasidam to Bhavandaha. Reply comes Ramasa Prasant Nasmaha. We are Shanti Rasto, he replies Pushti Rasto, we request Pushti Rasto, he says Subham Karma Rasto, we request Karma Samarathri Rasto, he says Prajavati Priyadam, we say Prajavati Priyadam, come inside, take the coffee tea, not liquor. So you can see, this way of mental strength we always have, so Manasuddhi use the word very carefully, if you are, Excitingly or angrily speaking, 
the other fellow's brain chemistry